do is look what happened. The, the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make the change unprotected sheet, you may be requested to enter a password. Well, this is what we already have done. So what's going on here? What is going on with this query that does not does not refresh? And we've unprotected the sheet. That's we saw our code, right? The code was right. The code was correct. The code says unprotect the active sheet, which is the sheet where we are now with that password, refresh the connection, and then protect the sheet back. And what's happening is when it tries to update the data, it says that the sheet is protected. So the truth is, is there is a very a simple trick, and I'm going to show you what the trick is. Very simple and very important, and we have discussed this a few other times. What we need to do is to come here, right click, to the query that we want to be able to refresh. And in properties, make sure that you see here where it says enable background refresh. We need to uncheck that because when we have that check mark put on, what we are telling to our query and our system and VBA and all this, our system is, please carry on with any other stuff you have to do while Power Query keeps busy updating the, the query. So the query is being updated, refreshed in the background while other things carry on in our system. And we don't want that. We want to start the refreshing and stop everything else while the refreshing is going on, nothing else happens. We wait for the query to be refreshed, our data to be updated, then when that is finished, then we carry on with the next moves that we programmed. In this case, the next move was to protect the sheet. So this way, the sheet won't be protected while Power Query is doing its business. And that, what, that was exactly what was happening just now. So let's try. I'm going to put OK here. Click OK. And let's see if this works even with that signal there. There you go. Let's see. Agfa 1, uh, 1980, that was the change that we had made. So let's let's try just one more time to make sure. Let me change this uh, brand here to something that uh, does not exist as a brand, camera brand, but doesn't matter just for our purpose here. I'm closing the file update now we have the new brand that we added to our data and no issues at all so it was possible to update the query with our macro with